I'm just so excited and appreciative to be here today. Because today is just not an anniversary. But it is a shift. It's a shift. I remember being called from Atlanta, Georgia to back home to D.C. Not knowing what that shift was going to All I knew was God said go home. Okay. And so packing everything, I came home. And through the struggle of the shift, not understanding the intentionality of God's hand, not understanding the, the, the growth that would take place in the waiting process, not understanding what God had in store, I had a friend that stood with me, that prayed in the gap for me. All right. And I came to Inner Life Ministries, and this man right here yeah, prayed with me. Yeah. Before, before there was even one master, Come on. before there was any certification, this man uh -huh. prayed for me and stood hey, with me. Yeah, in this hey. And if I say, God, to be able to celebrate with you and with him today, yeah. we're going to be in. 1 Samuel today, chapter 17, verse 31 through 37. But we're not going to go there yet. And I'm just going to explain something. I'm a paper and pen preacher. I'm scared of a laptop because I make zip too fast. And I'm praying that God will get you there. But I didn't think today would be a good day to practice. I didn't think it would be a good day to practice. Come on. But ever since the invitation was extended to me, I've been excited and just grateful to the young man that is Bishop Alex Taylor. Yeah. And as I said, he's been a part of my life, a part of my heart since 2000. Amen. Amen. So he's, he's more than a brother. Right. More than a friend to me, and at times it felt as if we shared the same breath. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love him so much. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen? And I stand in awe and amazement of what God has done in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And what God is continuing to do yes. in this ministry. Yes. Right here. Right here. Yes. So celebrate with me by putting your hands together in thanksgiving for this life. Yes. <laughs> But I know that some of us are already ready. Right? Okay. 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 
Okay. So I'm pacing myself with this taxi on this runway. Come on. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Lord God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Yes, sir. I thank you for traveling mercies, God. I thank you for thank you, every soul and every person that is here to celebrate your goodness, to celebrate your faithfulness. Yes. God, in these few moments, God, I decrease that you may increase. Yes. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Yes. Yes. Let the words break up some foul ground. Let the words stir up some souls. God, let confirmation come forth today. God, but most of all, have your way in each and every one of us. God. We give you praise and advance for what you are about to do. Which is already done. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The theme I received for today, for this celebration, was a new era and a next level. Amen. Amen. All right. And when I first received it, my spirit jumped and, and I felt as if I wanted to weep because I was touching in agreement not just with a theme. But a declaration. Come on. Amen. A declaration and an unfoldment of God's purpose in this house. Okay. Amen. Amen. So I'm glad to be a witness today to what God is going to do within each and every one of you. It's not just up here. Because as he moves, as she moves, that you move also. Amen. Amen. That you move also. Now point to yourself. And say, God is doing a new thing in this house. God is doing a new thing in this house. Now, God is doing a new thing in this house. God is doing a new thing in this house. So this is not just a celebration, amen, but a building of, amen? Yeah. A building of. A building of. Yes. A distinction of, amen? Because yes. this means that more people are coming. Yeah. This means you're preparing to, to reach out to more. You're preparing to do more. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let's get these wheels up. I'm in the book of Samuel today, first channel, Samuel chapter 17. And I'm going to read verse 26. I'm going to read verse 31 through 37. Then I'm going to bookend it and walk us through the word. Amen. 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 So verse 26 says. Then David spoke to the men who stood by him, saying, What shall be done for the man who kills the Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Come on. Verse 31 reads, Now when the words which David spoke were heard, they reported them to Saul, and he sent for him. Then David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, you are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him. For you are a youth and he a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant used to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, well, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. Come on. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its head, beard and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear. Come on. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them. Hey. <laughs> Seeing he has defiled the armies of the living God. Moreover, David said, the Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand yes. of this Philistine. And Paul said to David, go and the Lord be with you. Amen. Go and the Lord be with you. Now if we start at the beginning of the chapter, we read that a Philistine the Philistine armies and King Saul and the armies of Israel were gathered on two sides preparing for a battle. We know the Philistine thought they had a champion and his name was Goliath. 
Uh-huh. They fought. They, thought. they had a chance. Yeah. Right. Goliath was considered a giant because he was so big and so tall. Uh-huh. Anybody ever had a giant in their life? Yeah. He's been seen so big. So David then 
man runs down his credentials. Uh -huh. And let me tell you what some of you have come through. What some of you have come through. What some of you have fought through. Tried up and over. Yeah. I was going to try to get this. But through your fire, through your fire, God was molding.
about David today. It's like good teaching. I told this stuff. The city it just kept going. Yes. And they will still be talking about you yeah. in the next 10 years. Yes. 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 So you crossed the 10 year mark. Mm -hmm. You crossed it. It's a new era. Yes. And your mind, body, and soul yes, Lord. has to recognize yes. that it's new. Yes. Not just because today is anniversary That's Sunday, right. That's but right. today is Declaration That's Sunday. Right. That's 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And your first ten years were fortified mm -hmm. and preparing you for this next one. Yeah. Amen. 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 You had comments. You had goings. Yes. Disagreements. Yes. Moves and shifts. Yes. yes. You even survived a pandemic. Yes. 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 I have another 
think you're going to do something routine and small. Hey. And then you find yourself doing something big and great. See, it was David's next level calling him. It was calling him through that, that small task of take this lunch to your brother. Amen? Amen. It was his next level. And we know that David had many levels if you read his full story. <laughs> but like all of us, he had to start somewhere. Yes. See, your next level has brought you a bishop. Which means his reach now expands. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? It expands and his support also has to expand. Amen. Anybody hear me? Amen. Amen. His support also Amen. has to expand. Amen. It's not just a title change. It shifts not only his life, but yours as well. Because a bishop is a pastor's pastor. Amen? So he'll be pouring out more while still pouring into you. And so you need to be supporting more while we supporting others.
knowing God is. <laughs> God has been. Praise the Lord. God always will be. Will be with who? Me. Will be with me. Will be with you. Will be with us. Is. Has been. Always will be. With us. Our steps are ordered. One by one. So don't be afraid to put one in front of the other. Talk about Cole's it. Power yes, yes, talk about it. A lot of redefining the meaning of who you are. Amen? Amen. That's that, that, that new you. Meeting up with that bold you. And transferring some more boldness so you're even a bolder and braver you. Come on here. Come on here. The new you calling you for. Redefining. A letter brings a deeper spiritual awareness. You know some things now. You've been through some things now. And God has the more things that God wants to give and connect you to and people to through you. Amen? Amen. Higher source. Higher source. A letter brings the David opportunity All right. to each and every one of you to say... I'm still bold. If I wasn't bold, I'm gonna be bold now. If I wasn't sure, I'm sure now. Because God said it, that I can go. And if God said it, I don't gotta ask my neighbor. I can just go. I don't gotta wait for a sign. I can just go. I can just go because God declared it so. Amen. Amen. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you. In these next few years, yes. I look forward to coming and celebrating not only the new building but the new people that come and occupy. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. The word of the Lord is go and conquer. Anybody ready to go and conquer? Yeah. Yeah. 